and welcome to Flavors of Africa. I'm Doris Ufuebune. And as always, I'm Kevin Ufuebune. Now, recently we had the opportunity to attend Enabler's second annual gala, and it was beautiful. The event was spearheaded by Charles Serwa, Mr. Charles Serwa, the CEO and founder of Enablers. And in attendance were the Honorable Jim Prentice, as well as his wife, Karen Prentice, as well as other notables attended the event as well. It was fantastic, really. Good. Great. I mean, it was beautiful, wonderful ambience. It had an African touch, which, of course, we always love. Yes. And what would you say were the highlights of the event for you? Well, meeting people and listening to Mr. Siroa talk about Africa, that Africa is a beautiful place, that Africa is not a place where uh, there are problems upon problems, that Africa is truly ready for business, as I always say, and as you are going to see during the highlight of the event. Well, exactly. And today, in the spirit of galas, we've decided to recreate our own gala here on Flavors of Africa. So, of course, that comes with delicious food, as usual. We've yes. prepared some delicious hors d'oeuvres for you. And we're going to have our own little gala right here on Flavors of Africa. Stay tuned. <music> And welcome back to Flavors of Africa, Canada's first African cooking show. The website again is www.flavorsofafrica.ca and there you can find wonderful recipe tips. And today on our show, we've recreated a gala for you, our wonderful viewers, and yes. it just it's absolutely beautiful what we've prepared for you, if I do say so myself. And speaking of galas, we do have an exciting event coming up. That's Flavors of Africa's first gala, where we will invite you, our wonderful viewers, to sort of get a chance uh, to taste what yes. we've been cooking. Yes, and it's going to be in May. Of so next year, 2014. So mark that on your calendars. And also visit the website if you want to you know, stay up to date and we'll keep the venue up there for you and everything. That's www.flavorsofafrica.ca. Awesome. So here we have uh, lots of uh, things for you, our wonderful uh, viewers. Mm -hmm. We're starting with the croutons to go with our beautiful sauce here. We Look have at that. the cheese and the tomato sauce to go with it. And we also have the lamb, the lamb is here. We have the meatballs, we have the cheese, you know, to give you different <laughs> choices. And we have the chicken uh, uh, fingers, if mm -hmm. I may call it that. And then we have the chicken wings. Exactly. And, you know, speaking about choice and variety, if yes. you're having sort of a gala and a party, you know, and you're not just bringing African guests, you're also bringing Canadian guests. Yes. And sometimes we Canadians, you know, we're not too much into spice. Yes. So it's great to have a variety, which we do. We have sort of, sort of bland but tasty, delicious croutons. And then we yes. have... Uh, meat that's packed in with flavor. Yes. Also here, one of our favorites. Yes. It's sort of the plantain hors d'oeuvre. So it's 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 plantain is fruit. Yeah. It's it's a common African fruit, and it is perfect for vegetarians when you think about it. And it's not spicy. And then we have uh, cheese in it because when you look at it, you think, oh, this is just uh, biscuits. They are not <laughs> biscuits. They are uh, plantain chips, and we have. Uh, uh, cheese in it mm -hmm. and you can choose any kind of che uh, cheese that you love and uh, you know it's make perfect. it beautiful. I mean when you the fact that you can choose any type of cheese you like and I love cheese you just yes. can't go wrong with the amounts that you want to put or the different types of cheese exactly. that you would like. And uh, you know so we're gonna eat a few of the things. Cheers. Yes. And um, <laughs> notice how I'm putting my wine to my <laughs> left hand because the reason why I do this all, before we even start eating, you yes. know, we greet uh, okay. people. And I say... So let's just say that we are attending Flavors of Africa's first annual gala. Yes. So I have my drink in my left hand, so do you. We're shaking with our right yes, hand. Yes, so I say, hello, Kevin. It's lovely meeting <laughs> it's you today. very nice meeting you. Exactly. And the reason why we do this is that we can free our right hand so that we can talk, you know, shake our our guests and, yeah. and it's very important and instead of doing the awkward yes. like switch around like exactly. when you go you know you sort of there. think okay whoa exactly. and then you're sort of jumbling you that. and then when you're ready to eat so now you can use your left hand after you finish shaking your guests and then you can use your left uh, hand to eat your hors d'oeuvre you know mm -hmm. uh, it makes sense oh my goodness mm. this smells in your mouth mm -hmm. mm. absolutely perfect this is great <laughs> Yeah, so mm. it's really um, 
it's, it's good to know some etiquette when mm -hmm. you go to these events to know what to do, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. So it's sort of neat when you talk about etiquette and things like that. You know, for some people, attending a gala might be a new thing. It might be a first thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sort of maybe give us tips what, on what you think are, is, are the best ways to handle certain solutions. Like when you meet people and you're mingling, mm -hmm. you're talking, you're having a good time. How how long do you continue that sort of talking? Yeah. You know when you meet somebody new and it's like, do I continue on with the conversation? It or? doesn't matter if the conversation is going very well, continue with it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think um, it becomes awkward when people don't have much to say. Yes. Or they don't know what to do when they want to move <laughs> to another group. It's always good to say it's really lovely meeting you. I'm going to go mingle with some of the guests. Yes. And then you can go. They will true. understand. Oh, that's true. But instead sometimes you feel like obligated, there, do I stand and I sit my No, instead my of drink. standing there and then making it awkward, mm -hmm. people will understand. That's true. It's and what do you see, like, what if, okay, it's, it's sort of hypothetical and sort of funny, but you know, mm -hmm. these, little, these little party things are what you think about. So, you know, you've, you've introduced yourself to someone, you've become acquainted, you've mingled, you've gone your, your, your separate ways, and then you yes. meet again mm -hmm. in the same spot, like if we're to stand side by side again. Oh, nice to you see know? you again. How are you enjoying the party? It's so easy, you yeah. know? And then they will say the same thing, and then you walk away. And if you have more to say, you can go ahead and say it, you know? No wahala, well, no problem true. at all. So and you know, and speaking about galas, you know, you often will attend a dinner mm -hmm. type of thing. And um, there's sort of dinner etiquette that goes with that as well. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you might go with your family or your friends, so mm -hmm. it's good to not only just stay with your family and friends, but also turn to the people mm -hmm to the left of you, to the right of you, and you keep mingling that way. Yes, it's very important because you can't yeah. just talk to your family. You need to talk to people uh, that are sitting to your right, and mm -hmm. then you need to talk to people that are sitting to your left. It's very, very important, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. It's really, very really, neat. So really it's, it's just uh, common sense, you know? Yeah. Common sense. If it feels right, you know, do it. Just do it. And, um, Be yourself. Have fun. Exactly. And when it comes to hors d'oeuvres, how many can you have? Again, it's uh, common sense. You're not yeah. going to stay there and eat all. But what if they're as delicious as these ones? Well, it is delicious, <laughs> but personally, I go for two or three. But yes. I can't just go <laughs> for like, a, you know, the whole plate because they are going to serve the main dinner, that's right? That's right, that's right. So it, it, it just, again, uh, common sense, you know. Common sense, maybe common exactly. courtesy. Just sort of exactly. think about it and remember that you're there to socialize. Exactly. And, and mingle and have mm -hmm. fun. Oh, it's, it's important. And then when it comes to the main dinner mm -hmm. and you have the buns you have uh, everything on the table <laughs> sometimes people don't know okay how do i eat my buns do i just cut it like um, <laughs> a cheeseburger no because i mean they will serve the the butter everything you yeah. take the root you know the best way to do it is to take your your butter yeah. put mm -hmm. on it on the side of your plate and then, you know, cut your bread as much as you can eat and then, you know, butter as you go and eat it. So there's no reason <laughs> to cut it into two and butter the whole thing <laughs> and then, you know, take it like you're going to eat a hamburger. <laughs> you know, I've seen people do that. Have you? What do you do when you see people do that? Well, when you don't say anything. And you can't correct them because of the, the exactly. you know. But I will tell you that I was <laughs> I was attending this event. It, 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 it was it was um, it was a formal dinner, okay. and then the bread was served, and the person sitting to my right took the bun and then cut it into two, <laughs> and then added some butter, and then rolled her <laughs> sleeves, and then started. I'm like, wow. And then I, I, I feel like saying, would you like some uh, uh, price to go with that? It was interesting, <laughs> but I um, mean, you know. Um, well, see, that's the thing. You just don't know those things. Yeah, like, how do you, you know. But it's good to read or wait and see what people are doing. That's like true. when you are uh, seated on a table, it's that's good true. to go walk around and see what people are doing. You that's know, it's, it's very important. And another thing is that sometimes you are leaving. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can leave the table. Okay. You can say, excuse me. And then you can take your napkin. Mm -hmm. Don't put it on the table because the mm -hmm. waitress or the waiter might think that you are done eating. The best way to do it is to leave it on your chair. So when you come back, you take it and place on your uh, on, on your lap again, right? So that's how there to do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just watch what people do, and you never go wrong. It's true. You can always have the opportunity to sort of glance around and glance left. Exactly. And, you know. Exactly. It's so fun. I guess we're gonna take a little break. When we come back, we talk a little more about the gala. So stay tuned. It sounds great. You're watching Flickers of Battle.
and welcome back to Flavors of Africa. We are at Enabless Foundation's second annual gala and sitting up with us right now is Mr. Charles Sirwa. Thank you so much for Very joining nice. us. Thank, Thank you, you so here. much, sir. <laughs> pleasure. For taking some time out of your busy schedule to be here with us. <laughs> it's a great pleasure. We are so happy to be here again. <laughs> it seems like yesterday when we were here during your I first remember. Uh, uh, gala here in Calgary. Yeah. And this is your second a gala year here in Calgary. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, a so year we're ago. really happy. Thank yeah. you for being here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Sirua, please, can you take some time to tell us about yourself and also about uh, Enablis, okay, your sure. uh, organization? Sure. Uh, I am a Canadian entrepreneur who've been mainly involved uh, in the past in uh, telecommunication, in uh, wireless telecommunication. So uh, I build and own cellular system uh, in Canada, but also in emerging country. I've done a lot of emerging country in those days, not in Africa in those days. I was mainly uh, in China, in India, in South America, in East uh, Europe. So this is where I have been involved. And uh, after that, I, I, I start many other uh, enterprises in the field of technology. Yeah. And uh, one day I decided to start that, uh, I was a nonprofit organization to develop <laughs> entrepreneurs because I believe very strongly that uh, entrepreneurship is the way to create jobs yes. and jobs is the way, the way to reduce poverty awesome. in emerging countries. Awesome. Very you. interesting. And now we have to ask, how welcoming are the African governments regarding your presence in their countries? And have you faced any resistance at all? To be honest, not at all. Uh, in, in fact, uh, we have been invited by head of state. I, I have received uh, requests by some head of state. We're a non-profit, so we cannot go faster than what we can do. Uh, but uh, we have been extremely well uh, welcome, uh, mainly the, the South African government just recently have awarded uh, a, a grant of $3 million to enable this, which is a very large grant, uh, because uh, our organization, by developing entrepreneurs, create a lot of jobs. And you know jobs in South Africa is a main target now to reduce uh, poverty. So Wonderful. Oh, this is great. And uh, four Enablis uh, entrepreneurs have uh, been listed among uh, um, Forbes Africa's 30 under 30 best young entrepreneurs. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That Thank is you. So amazing. Yes. It means that you're doing uh, so well in Africa. And we really appreciate the job that you're doing in Africa. Oh, you're, you're very kind, but uh, you know. It's easy to fall in love with Africa, oh, and Africa I have fallen in love with the Thank continent, you. so Thank it's a, it's a great continent. Yeah, I love that point about falling in love with yeah, Africa. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and now, while we're on the subject of the, your entrepreneurs, your organization provides loans for those entrepreneurs. So how does the loan structure work, and when do those loans have to be paid back? Okay, so it depends a lot of what uh, any of this is financing. You know, if we're financing a long-term assets, the loan will be amortized on a longer period than if we're financing working capital. But the main reason why we supply, in fact, the way we do that is we supply guarantee to our entrepreneurs who go to the bank with our guarantee and get the loan from the bank. That's one way that we're doing it. Another way, in certain cases, we are providing directly what we call a self-liquidating instrument, which is a kind of like uh, equity, but this is, you know, it's very difficult for an entrepreneurs and for us to recuperate our capital if we are in equity. So we need to have a kind of self-liquidating way by which the entrepreneur can buy back the equity from us and we can finance another entrepreneur because this is how the thing goes. When the, when the entrepreneur of any business entrepreneur pay back his loan or his investment, we are able to finance another one and another one and another one. That's, that's the object. That's interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. So now that we know uh, what entrepreneurs go through once they become members of Enablis, can you also tell us a little bit about tonight's uh, guest speaker, that's Cello. We are so much looking forward <laughs> to hearing him speak. It's exciting. Uh, Cello is a, is a very active Enablis entrepreneur in South Africa. <laughs> I think that uh, you should take the opportunity to so talk to him a little bit later on. Sure. Uh, sure. He, he just arrived and uh, I will let the, introduce him. But uh, what Cello have been going through is what all enablers entrepreneurs go through. Mm -hmm. There is a, a selection process, a yeah. accreditation process. After that, they become member of the organization. 
And now they are under a development program where we develop the person, not the company, the person. Mm. And when they get to a certain level and they are in business, now they can apply after that for, for a loan or uh, investment. That's the process by which uh, we're going through, and that's what Cello have been going through. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome, and Thank we're you. we're very glad to have both of you at our gala tonight. Thank you so much. Well, joining us right now is one of Enablist entrepreneurs all the way from South Africa. Can you please introduce yourself? Thank you. My name is Lomo Luandra. My company name is Puzamanzi in South Africa. Wonderful. Fantastic. Welcome to Canada. Is this your first time here? This is my first time in uh, Canada, especially in Alberta, but we're finding this place to be very nice and beautiful. Perfect. We're happy that you feel that way because that's how we feel. We love Canada. We love Calgary. It's a beautiful city, Calgary is. Yes. Yes. I agree. yes, you're welcome. And can you tell our viewers how you got involved with Enabler? And Ebelis is a very powerful organization that is supporting small business. Uh, I hear that they've got chapters all over the world, and specifically in South Africa, how I became a member of Ebelis is when I actually entered their competition in 2009. And uh, fortunately, I won the competition in the construction category. And as they say, the rest is history. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, we have many more inspiring guests coming up on Flavors of Africa. Stay tuned. You're the guest uh, speaker this evening. I am the guest speaker, yes. I was invited to come and share my story with uh, the rest of uh, Canada, and yes. especially in Calgary, as well as uh, you know, encourage uh, new and potential uh, business people around here to support and everything here. Fantastic. Welcome to Calgary. And joining me is the Honorable Jim Prentice. Uh, Mr. Prentice, you are the co-chair of Enablist Fundraising Gala. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about why you decided to lend your support to Enablist? Well, I think Enablist is a, an incredible organization that sponsors uh, entrepreneurs uh, in Africa in particular. And um, I believe very strongly in the work that they do. I think it uh, helps produce a stronger society and a stronger business community. And, it's uh, the vision of Charles Sirois, who is a uh, friend of mine as well. And so we're delighted to be part of it. And Perfect. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank Prentice. You. Well, we have certainly been enjoying ourselves and we had delicious meals. Didn't you enjoy the food? It was awesome. Fantastic. I love the beef. Yeah. And the sauce is so, it was so amazing. <laughs> and the dessert, oh my goodness. Well, perfect. Well, right now we have actually the man that's responsible for the good food here. Why don't you tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into cooking? Hi there. Uh, yeah, my name's Craig Boyer. I'm the uh, executive sous chef here at Hotel Arts. Um, it's, a, it's a long story, but I, I got into cooking, I guess, a few years ago. I've always loved cooking. Um, but I decided to take it seriously sort of a few years ago and I decided to leave my marketing job and sort of get into the culinary world. I put myself through school and kind of followed it since then and I've ended up here after being a chef at the uh, uh, Kensington Riverside Inn down in, in uh, Kensington there. And uh, yeah, it's sort of this, this function came up and I kind of jumped at the chance really. I'm South African myself uh, many years back and uh, I kind of thought it was a great opportunity to sort of jump in and, and showcase sort of part of my heritage and my culture from a food perspective, you know. Perfect. So now you are from South Africa yeah. and the food was delicious. Tell us a bit about how your roots maybe inspired today's menu. Well, the first thing that kind of struck me is that so many people don't really know a lot about South Africa and it's, it's I guess, it's culinary side of things and how diverse it is, but also it's such a diverse country you know, eth eth ethnically that it brings so much to the table and I think people don't really see that. So I try to kind of take a lot from the roots and what people don't realize is there's, you know, in Cape Town, for example, there's a great sort of Malayan influence in the cooking, a lot of sort of those Malayan flavors or the curry. Uh, you know, if you head into the sort of interior, you get more of the kind of 
earthy sort of you know dried fruits the figs and the apricots and the spices and maybe down in Durban where I'm from you're looking more the sort of the spice route where the, excuse me the Dutch East, uh, East India Company would use on the way to India to pick up the spices so there's a very East Indian influence there so when I looked at the menu I kind of thought what could I take that's familiar and build on that so uh, I mean for the canapes for example I took Borovos which is a quintessential South African sort of farmer sausage and we paired it up with a pinotage, you know, tomato chutney, pinotage being a South African grape. Yeah. Uh, another example was we did a little babuti pie, which is again sort of that Malayan influence, sort of curry, uh, beef, and it's got a little bit of those dried fruits and the tamarind and curry powder in there with a little bit of chutney. Um, and then obviously moving into the main dish, we sort of focus more on, I guess, the interior. So normally we'd maybe use a game meat like, uh, you know, uh, kudu or impala, but I guess we don't have that available here. So we went with beef, which is, you know, Albertan. Uh, but we decided to go with more of the shank, so we used the the knee cut and had the bone and the marrow. Yeah, it was absolutely that was delicious. amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you very thank much. You so much. Really thank you so much. That. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. Stay tuned. And welcome back to Flavors of Africa. As you can see, we had so much fun at Enabler's second annual gala. And it was wonderful and perfect. And today we made delicious appetizers. And for more ideas, you can visit www.flavorsofafrica.ca. You want to keep checking that website because we'll have our first gala next year in May 2014. We're cer certainly looking forward to that. Yeah, and the Enabler's gala was here in Calgary. Exactly. It, yeah, it took place in Calgary. It takes place and in Calgary, its annual uh, gala. Yeah, and it's going to be a yearly event for mm -hmm. them. So if you miss this year's uh, gala, don't worry, no wahala. It's coming up next year. Exactly. And remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and send us an email. We love hearing from you. So thank you so much for watching. There is of Africa, and until next time. Mm -hmm.